I'm sitting here with the current president of Walusu. Uh, if you don't know who this wonderful woman <laughs> is, you must be living under a rock because this is Annie Constanis. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because she's not here anymore. So, hi, Annie. Welcome to the show. Hi. It's nice to be here. Thanks. Oh, great. So, I have a couple questions for you about yes. uh, your experiences with running for president as well as any advice that you would have to the people who are currently running. Yeah, of course. Great question. So, um, my advice to the candidates essentially is that this is an experience that you will get whatever you put into it. Um, I know I've seen people work tirelessly to be asking questions, to be building their platform, building their marketing campaigns as well. Um, and it's great to see that because I know that it's going to be a rewarding experience regardless of the outcomes for them. So um, it's really fun to see. Um, another thing is that honestly it's one of the most um, I guess like you're exposed to so much criticism potentially and through that it's very easy to kind of give in to some of the um, more emotional aspects of it but one thing I can definitely recommend is that the only person you really have control over is yourself so I my advice I guess for candidates would be just to focus on yourself um, because that way you'll really stay true and honest to yourself and you won't let some of the more externalities of the campaign process weigh you down and hopefully lead to your success so any advice yeah. for the haters of uh, Walusu elections? Just stop elections? hating. Stop hating. There's no room for you in elections. Like it's already <laughs> a long enough process. Just, just simmer down. It's good to be critical, and don't get me wrong. Like I think um, people who really ask those hard-hitting questions are so important to an elections process. But the people who are hating on personalities or just for the sake of hating, like I, I don't really have patience for them. Mm. But love me, hate obsession. it. It's still an obsession. Okay. <laughs> so um, for you, your own experiences. What were some of the challenges you had last year? aside from somebody hacking into your Facebook. Aside from that, uh, what were your <laughs> challenges? Um, I I think it's kind of what I spoke to you before, um, is that it's a very critical time or you're not really exposed to that much, um, so, sorry, that many people having the spotlight on you. And it's it's fun in that sense at the same time too because you really kind of get to have ownership of who you are and really express your own true self mm -hmm. to everybody and your one shot of glory, I guess, in that sense. Um, but also, I know one of the bigger things was um, criticism about like the platform and how you can express or show the three months of work or three or I guess even five months at that time um, and it, tell people about that and really show it is is a challenge in itself so it's like trust me I know I'll do a good job but convincing other people of that is yeah. is also a challenge. Great so how did you think that this year went with uh, your Walusu members? Um, yeah so just like the job in, in yeah, general? Yeah everything. Yeah so um, it's really good it was it has been, it still it continues to be an amazing experience. Uh, one of the best things that I learned um, is actually just how to be a leader more and how to work with other people, how to um, leverage your own skills and help that move a project along or working with others. Um, it's it's funny because I, I know like a lot of people are like, oh, what are the toughest parts of your year? And it, there isn't really any tough parts, just things that you have to work towards overcoming. So um, I think the biggest ones are things that you just never would expect. Uh, I can remember Anubalu or like Michael Anubalu, who's last year's president, um, when I met with him during the um, lead up to the campaigning, um, he said that he never would have ever put in his platform. I know, like, if there is a deficit or a big budget problem, like, I will handle it by X and X. Like, mm -hmm. it, it hit him and he had to deal with it. And mm -hmm. I think that's one of the more challenging aspects of this job is that you never really know what the next day will bring. You just kind of have to roll with it and be as prepared as possible to, um, like, hit it head on. So that's. It, it, again, it's part of the most exciting parts of the job because no two days are alike, so every day in the office um, will be different, but at the same time, you, you definitely are kept on your toes with it. <laughs> Great. So, uh, speaking of uh, challenges, uh, what kind of challenges are you leaving the new president with? <laughs> what mess do they have to clean up that you've created? Well, hopefully no messes. <laughs> um, one of the things I think our year has done very well is that we have focused a lot more, um, well, I guess more internally, so like tying up a lot of like loose ends, um, tightening up some processes. But one of the things that I know, or a couple things that are going to be on the forefront for next year is that um, we've been moving a lot with wellness, the wellness initiative. So the counseling services and health services uh, center will actually be amalgamated into one big center mm -hmm. and the university um, and an institution-wide effort will be working with as many members as possible to really ensure that student services and student care and wellness has been addressed um, and that 
revolves around a circle of care model. It works with um, just ensuring that students know what is option or what is available to them, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully next year's team can kind of move that along. And furthermore, I know this year we had fall reading days like approach or fall reading days was implemented um, for this upcoming year, and there's going to be a lot of and or analyzing of how effective is it and I know orientation week now has been changed so next year's team is going to have to look a little bit bit or look a little bit at that as well um, yeah there's there's a lot of things coming up for next year which is really really exciting um, but again it's kind of things will come up as they come up and um, the teams I guess will have to fix it <laughs> Great. Um, what are some things that you would like to see addressed in uh, candidates platforms or just what they're advocating yeah advo advocating yeah um, so one of the big things for me is multi-campus um, I think there's a lot of things I can go into a list of things I'd love mm -hmm. to see um, specifically addressed um, just to show that candidates are actually being realistic about what they can um, work on next year if they are elected. Um, but multi campus is always one um, that has been very close to homers and I just care a lot about the Brantford campus mm -hmm. and there looks like there is even potential for a Milton campus in the near future so just that mindfulness that whatever we're doing needs to be in the context mm -hmm. of not just the Waterloo campus but the Brantford one as well. Um, I know I've worked very hard on being or having a presence on that campus and hopefully next year's president can really work on um, some of the bigger things such as food services um, starting up so just one card being implemented on the campus as well as um, their library library services and oh there is one more for oh and faculty associations is also starting on that campus so I know from our and those are things that we're starting to think about as well as just finding efficiencies between um, our policies and our procedures and just making sure that we've got each other's backs at all times. Great. Yeah. So what is the key to winning the election because you won <laughs> and Chris lost so <laughs> how did you do it? Honestly I <laughs> did I, you pay people off? Well, that's not supposed to be out in public, but no, um, I think, honestly, like, I think my team, like, I cannot, I could not have done what I did if it wasn't for the people who are supporting me, and through that, I think, just came a lot of respect for them and recognizing the hard work they did. Mm -hmm. um, also, I, I know I did a lot of research before, and um, I have been fortunate enough to meet with um, most of the candidates, but again, I'm very curious to see the people who haven't really met with all the campus partners um, and all the university partners as well, um, how they're going to really reflect with the true nature of the job um, when so much of it is in, like being involved with them. So Great. Yeah. And I'm sure everyone's wondering the same question here, Annie. Mm -hmm. Are you Team PETA or Team Gale for <laughs> team the Hunger Games? Team PETA for sure. There's no, I mean, he loves her. Like, you can um, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just... Yeah. But Liam Hemsworth is like a 10 out of 10, so... Oh, I know. <laughs> Can it be a tie? No. I hear ties are big with this election, and I, I just... Ah, uh, like she Both got ties you there. Ties, just, okay. I, I want this to be a tie. Okay.